everyone welcome to the 13th session of python for machine learning in this session we will co cover how to merge the data frames concatenating and merging helps in machine learning when we merge concatenate the train and test data set and do the necessary processing uh, pre processing steps on a single data set like imputation label encoding feature scaling one hot encoding and feature engineering so let's start so we, we will import our necessary libraries and will create two uh, data frames df1 and df2 but in this case we have to make sure like if you want to uh, do a join it is like, the joining is a uh, simple process like we follow in the sql structured query language so in this case and we have to ensure that there is some columns which is common in both the tables in both the data frames here so we will execute this So you can see in both the uh, data frames, we have the ID column which is co common. So this is our data set one, and this is our data data set two. So we can see the ID column which is common. Now, if we want to merge the data set, what we will, how we will proceed? We'll say merge and and we'll store the data in a new data set which is df3. So pd dot merge. And then we'll give df1 comma df2 comma on like on which particular column we want to merge. We'll give on is equals to id name that column name. So only the records which is common in both this is the like inner join will be displayed. Like so you can see 103 is common in both the table, right? in both the data sets so that record is displayed now if we want to do a left outer join so how will we execute so suppose we and before that we want to do an outer join full outer join then df4 is equal to pd dot So you can see this is a full outer join now uh, because we have all the IDs present now if you want to do a left join like left outer join then pd dot Now if we give df underscore, so you can see the left table is being populated with uh, though the salary column has like been added from the uh, other table, but the value of the salary for those record which is not present in the second table is empty. Nn nn is stands for not a number. Now what if we create a right outer join? you can see in the right outer join join uh, in the the second table the writers table is the right hand side table is the uh, our df2 in that we don't have the name in the country column so because of that the id uh, 2003 and 2004 we have the nan value for name and country both all these two but the salary value is there so we have that value is filled from the second table so sometimes if we do uh, like if the column name is the column name the value is fine but the column name is not the same in both the table so in that case uh, we have to uh, the proceed like this suppose df5 how we will merge what i mean is 
there are two tables one is employee one is salary so in both the table one is employee id one is a like again some other id being in that uh, referred in that table then how we will uh, do a join so the syntax for doing that is We have to give the left left on is equal to ID. In our case, it's same, and then again, right on is equal to ID. And we press DF5. So only the uh, here it is kind of outer uh, inner join only. But even if the column name is different, we can execute. Uh, though the content is same, even if the column name is different, we can merge them. So this is the syntax. So this is how we can uh, like uh, uh, execute and merge the data sets. So thank you for viewing the session. If you feel this uh, video is helpful, please comment and press the like button and also subscribe to this channel. Uh, if you feel if you want me to cover any other topic, please uh, post in the comment section. Thank you. I'll be coming up coming up with some more videos. Thanks a lot.